chapter five, Nutrimi weight management. And this is basically a personalized medical product that we create that improves the weight loss success. Basically, uh, in the layout, Nutrimi is our personalized supplement uh, brand. And in the product layout, you will see it here. So the weight sensor is all about genetic testing for improved weight loss. And Nutrimi weight management is an add-on. So you need this genetic test to be able to then um, order this Nutrimi weight management product. And now let me explain the concept of this. It consists of a mixture of two registered medical products. Now medical products means it's kind of like a nutritional supplement, but it requires scientific studies that prove that it works the way you claim. And we have two of these medical products that have been shown in scientific studies to work as advertised. And they have quite technical names, so don't worry about remembering them. One of them is a lipid absorption matrix, LAM, and it reduces fat absorption by 26%. And the other component is a polysac polysaccharide absorption inhibitor, PAI, and it reduces the carbohydrate absorption up to 66%. Now, if we look at the concept, um, the concept in the intestine, someone eats a fatty meal and takes the lipid absorption matrix as well. It's a pill that you swallow together with food. So fat could either be absorbed and then stored and makes you overweight, or it is bound by the lipid absorption matrix. So it, it kind of increases in volume, grabs onto fat, and doesn't release it for your body to absorb. Now, if you have already watched the, the weight management sensor, the weight sensor, which I would really recommend that you do before looking at this, uh, this training, um, you will have learned that if a person eats a fatty meal, the fat is in the intestine and then the body starts to absorb it. But eventually a gene kicks in and says, okay, thank you, that was enough. And the rest will stay in the intestine. Now, if you think about it, if you have this gene protecting you from absorbing too much of, uh, of the fat, then what is going to happen? If you add the lipid absorption matrix, you're just going to absorb the fat that would have stayed in the intestine anyhow. So there's absolutely no benefit from it. There's no point in using a lipid absorption matrix if you're insensitive to the amount of fat. Now, some people have a genetic variation in this gene, so they would, in theory, absorb all of the fat that is available. And then, of course, it's beneficial because then any fat that you can take away from the body, you can bind to, to make sure that the body cannot absorb and take up, uh, will reduce your weight gain through this fat. So in this case, this is absolutely, uh, absolutely um, uh, a good idea. So fat absorption would be reduced in these people, only in fat sensitive people. And up, uh, according to studies, it's 26.6% less fat absorption. All right, uh, so this is the lipid absorption matrix. The other part, the polysaccharide absorption inhibitor, um, looks like this. Sugars or carbohydrates are usually kind of like pearl chains. Lots of sugar molecules bound to each other. So there's a lot of, of them pieced together. And the body cannot absorb these, uh, these huge molecules. It first needs an enzyme, and enzymes are kind of like small scissors, that recognize these long chains, cut them up into smaller pieces, and the small pieces can then be absorbed. And they carry the calories, the energy, and they can then cause uh, you to be uh, gain weight. So we need to have the long chains, cut them into smaller pieces before they can be absorbed. Uh, absorbed. Now the poly, uh, polysaccharide absorption inhibitor, um, you can see as these little, little triangles. They block the enzymes, so they can't work anymore. So what happens, you eat carbohydrates, you add this inhibitor, and what happens, the carbohydrates are not pieced, uh, not, not cut into pieces, and they're not absorbed. So, um, so really we need the information from this, gene, uh, from this gene test here. Are you sensitive to carbohydrates? Very. So we need a lot of carbohydrate absorption inhibitor. And do you gain weight from, weight, gain weight from fat? Hardly. So a fat 
binding system is not going to be very effective for you. So uh, depending on if you're more low carbohydrate or more low fat, um, we would add more of the one component or more of the other based on your genetics. All right, so by doing the genetic test, we can then find out what mixture is going to be most effective. And um, then you can take this as, a, uh, as an additional aid to aid your weight loss. And this is actually an old picture. This is what it looks like now. Um, this, these are blisters, so these are small compartments. And every one of them contains a personalized uh, com mixture of the two components based on your genes. So it will say your name in here. And for lunch, you would just take the contents of this, swallow the pills with half a liter of water before lunch, and then, uh, and then you can eat your meal, and it will reduce the amount of calories that you absorb from food. And you take one for lunch and one for dinner. Uh, you don't take one for breakfast in this case. And um, this here is, for example, for two weeks, because you have two per day, and that's 14, uh, 14 days worth. And uh, if the person wants to have more, you would, would get more of these. Um, now, they are produced uh, as they are being ordered. So a person that wants to order this, this, sub, uh, this supplement, um, they will have to have the, the genetic test. In the genetic test, they have a recipe code. And this recipe code needs to be submitted to us for uh, when we do the order, because otherwise we don't know what the genetics are to produce this personalized. And um, just some, uh, some background information. Well, it will have the customer's name. It is made of natural plant fiber. There's nothing chemical. It's, it's not using genetically modified organisms. And as I said, it has a scientifically proven effect. Now, uh, the la last question is how long should a person take this? And one way would be to just take it uh, during the weight loss phase to lose weight and then change your nutrition and maintain weight. Others from our experience like to um, take it continuously. They just take one a day only for lunch or only for dinner and it helps them maintain their weight. So it is up to the person. Um, it's, it's probably a very good idea during the weight loss phase and maybe a good idea during the stability phase. And that's the end of chapter number five, Nutrimi Weight Management is a personalized medical product for weight management as an addition to the weight sensor.